Ji Sun's confidence shattered as he stumbled back, eyes wide with panic. His voice trembled as he demanded, Who the hell are you? Lu Xun lowered his gaze, a silent smile curling on his lips. When he looked up again, his body pulsed with a suffocating energy. His eyes locked on a Ji Sun, radiating a sinister intent. If they wanted to die, he would grant their wish. With a mere thought, Lu Xun unleashed his power, causing the communicators on the men's wrists to explode. The men gasped, staring at their ruined devices in shock. Before they could react further, intense flames erupted from Lu Sheng, scorching the cave. The heat was so overwhelming that Ji Sun instinctively raised a hand to shield his face. Disbelief etched across his features. The force of Lu Sheng's energy was so immense that it pushed the men back, their fear palpable as they tried to comprehend what kind of monster they had provoked. Ji Sun, drenched in sweat, stood frozen mouth agape. He realized with dawning horror that he had picked the wrong fight. Meanwhile, deep within another double s rank cave, Dong Qingxue and Lin Wanwan traversed an area rich with precious golden minerals. They had already descended more than 30 levels when a new spatial crack appeared nearby. Dong Qingxue halted, dropping her arms as she assessed the situation. We shouldn't descend any further, she advised Lin Wanwan. Lin Wanwan, clutching her backpack straps, paused and thought. She then removed her backpack and, with a cheerful smile, pulled out a sample tube of beast blood. Examining it, she decided there was no need to continue. I've collected almost all the samples we need. Dong Qingxue remained silent, her arms crossed, watching Lin Wan Wan with a calm gaze. After stowing the sample, Lin Wan Wan turned to Dong Xingyi with a gentle smile. Is it time to head back? She asked, explaining that she had gathered everything. But Dong Xingyi, standing just ahead, didn't respond. Lin Wan Wan, growing concerned, waved her hand in front of him, trying to catch his attention. Did you hear what I said? Dong Qingxue, perplexed by Dong Xingyi's strange behavior, furrowed her brow. They waited several more minutes, but he remained unresponsive, staring straight ahead with a serious expression. Finally, Dong Qingxue approached from behind and placed a hand on his shoulder. Her touch jolted him, and his expression shifted to one of shock. He began to sweat, turning his head toward her with a forced smile. Sorry, I was just deep in thought, he stammered, clearly making up excuses. Dong Qingxue didn't buy it. Her gaze hardened. We need to leave now. These new cracks appearing are too risky. Dong Xingyi fixed Dong Qingxue with a calm gaze, his tone cold as he stated. The facts don't support your claims of a revolt in the cave. Nothing has happened. Dong Qingxue, her expression serious, began to counter. I just investigated, and something doesn't feel right. But before she could finish, Dong Xingyi turned his back to her, raising a hand dismissively. Stop talking, he commanded, his eyes closing as he added. Your task is to scout. Leave the beast slaying to me. Dong Qingxue's face fell, her shock evident. She couldn't believe the harsh words coming from her brother. Dong Xingyi, now surrounded by a strange energy, spoke without looking at her. Don't overestimate your martial arts power. Even if there was a revolt, I'd get us out safely. Dong Qingxue. Sensing something deeply wrong, replied quietly. Understood. As Dong Xingyi walked away, Lin Wan Wan hurried to his side, her voice soft yet firm. You're being too harsh on Dong Qingxue. She's only worried about us. Dong Xingyi stopped in his tracks, his fists clenching. A twisted smile crossed his face as he responded. If she were truly concerned, she wouldn't have acted the way she did before. They neared an entrance bathed in a powerful light. Dong Xingyi, one hand still clenched, Raise the other to the sky. We need to collect more samples from level 8 beasts. We don't leave until we have enough. His eyes gleamed with a fervent light, a smile creeping onto his face. The chance to surpass the martial saint is within reach. He stepped closer to Lin Wan Wan, gripping her shoulders tightly, his voice a mixture of excitement and desperation. I can't fail now. Lin Wan Wan's shock deepened as she felt the intense pressure of his hands. What's happening to him? She wondered, fear gnawing at her. Dong Xingyi leaned in even closer, his grip tightening as a malevolent energy radiated from him. His gaze was fierce as he hissed. There's no turning back. Lin Wan Wan, frozen in fear, didn't dare to respond. Dong Xingyi released her and marched toward the entrance, his mind seemingly lost to something dark and dangerous. Lin Wan Wan, trembling, covered her mouth with her hand, her eyes wide with fear. Something's terribly wrong, she thought. As Dong Xingyi approached the entrance, a twisted smile on his face, Lin Wan Wan turned to Dong Qingxue. 
Don't be angry. He didn't mean it, she said, her voice shaking. Dong Qingxue remained composed, shaking her head. I'm not angry. We've been siblings since childhood. I don't take these things to heart. Her eyes narrowed as she watched Dong Xingyi's retreating figure. She moved closer to Lin Wan Wan, her tone laced with suspicion. But don't you feel it? Something's off. Lin Wan Wan, confused, asked, What do you mean? As Dong Xingyi continued toward the entrance, his smile grew more deranged, his eyes shining with an unsettling light. Lin Wan Wan, don't you find Dong Xingyi's behavior strange? Dong Qingxue asked, her voice low but firm. Lin Wan Wan, puzzled, tilted her head slightly, watching as Dong Qingxue crouched down and touched the ground with her fingertip. A faint purple energy pulsed from the ground, spreading outward in a slow ripple. As Dong Xingyi moved farther away, the purple energy beneath him grew stronger, almost like it was drawn to him. Notice anything unusual? Dong Qingxue continued, her eyes fixed on the retreating figure of Dong Xingyi. Since we entered this cave, he hasn't strayed more than five meters from us. But now, here on level 34, a level 10 times more dangerous, he's keeping his distance. Lin Wan Wan's gaze sharpened as she observed Dong Xingyi, who seemed oblivious to the growing gap between them. The eerie energy from the cave's entrance didn't seem to phase him at all. Dong Qingxue's suspicions deepened as she sensed the malignant energy swirling near the entrance, right where Dong Xingyi was heading. He wants to be alone, Dong Qingxue muttered, her voice edged with concern. And he's heading deeper into the cave. Lu Sheng, his body ablaze with golden energy, held a spear in one hand and reached the other toward the sky. With a flick of his wrist, Ji Sun was lifted off the ground, his body writhing as he gasped for air. Ji Sun's hands clawed desperately at his throat, eyes bulging in sheer agony. Lu Sheng's expression remained cold as he brought his hand down sharply. Ji Sun's body was violently hurled to the ground, shattering the earth beneath him and sending a thick cloud of steam billowing through the cave. The bald man and his companions shielded their eyes, stepping back instinctively. As the steam slowly cleared, their hearts sank at the sight before them. Ji Sun, the second-ranked powerhouse of the military, lay in a crater his ribs shattered, his arm bent at an unnatural angle, unconscious. The bald man's eyes widened in terror, realizing the magnitude of what had just happened. If word of this spread, the entire eastern military district would be thrown into chaos. Lu Sheng had just dismantled a legend without breaking a sweat. Lu Sheng approached, his gaze locking onto the bald man, who was now trembling uncontrollably. The bald man's knees buckled, and he fell to the ground, prostrating himself before Lu Sheng. Please, we made a mistake. We were scared. Don't kill us. Please don't kill us, he begged, his voice cracking as he struck his forehead against the rocky ground. Fear overwhelmed him as he realized the severity of their situation. Without their communicators, they were completely at Lu Sheng's mercy, and the beasts of the cave wouldn't hesitate to devour their corpses. Lu Sheng stopped before him, his expression unreadable. The bald man, soaked in sweat, begged once more, his voice a pitiful whimper. Are we? Are we going to die here? With a calm and collected demeanor, Lu Xing spoke, his voice unexpectedly gentle. Don't worry. I'm not angry anymore. I'm not a bad person. The bald man's face lit up with a glimmer of hope, a relieved smile spreading across his lips. His comrades, too, began to breathe easier, thinking they had been spared. The bald man stood shakily, clasping his hands in gratitude. Thank you. Thank you so. But his words were cut short by a flash of golden energy. The bald man's eyes widened in confusion as he felt a sharp pain. His ear flew through the air, and he fell to his knees, clutching the side of his head as blood gushed from the wound. His scream of agony echoed through the cave. Lu Sheng remained where he was, his face still calm, his eyes cold. I said I'm not a bad person, he murmured, his voice carrying a terrifying finality. But that doesn't mean I'll let you walk away. Lu Sheng calmly placed a hand on the bald man's trembling shoulder. Remember my face, he said, his voice low and steady. Next time, fear me. The bald man, still clutching his bleeding ear, nodded frantically, sweat pouring down his face. The terror in his eyes was unmistakable. As he and the other men prostrated themselves before Lu Sheng, the latter leaped away, his form a blur of speed. Left behind, the bald man's expression twisted from fear to raw hatred. Tears streamed down his face as he vowed to remember the name Lu Sheng. Revenge simmered in his heart, 
but just as quickly, his expression shifted. A flicker of recognition flashed in his eyes. Lu Sheng. The name finally clicked. This was no ordinary opponent. This was Lu Sheng, the fourth-ranked stellar general of the Ninth War Zone, a rising powerhouse whose dominance was only just beginning. The realization hit him like a hammer. The bald man stood up shakily, still clutching his wounded ear, and pointed a trembling finger at Lu Sheng's retreating form. His mind raced, piecing together what should have been obvious from the start. Twelve and a half stars. The words echoed in his thoughts. If Lu Sheng could crush Ji Sun so effortlessly, then the rumors about Dong Xingyi avoiding him made perfect sense. The bald man's companion, equally terrified, now understood the gravity of the situation. Lu Sheng wasn't just another stellar general. He was a force to be reckoned with, a figure capable of challenging the very top of the military hierarchy. As Lu Sheng's body shimmered with a powerful golden energy, he walked away, each step a testament to his overwhelming strength. The bald man watched in silence, the reality sinking in. Dong Xingyi's days of boasting were numbered. The military district was about to witness a shift in power, and Lu Sheng was at the center of it all. This was going to be a spectacle.